Hey, what's going on, guys? I'm going to talk today about how the crisis in Venezuela and the incompetency of the Maduro government has affected animals. What I mean by that is it has affected the Carisual Zoo. If my pronunciation's off, I apologize. It's spelled C A R I C U A O. And that zoo used to be a thriving place, and it used to be a landmark for the city of Caracas, and it used to be um, prominent, but the population of the animals in the zoo have, was over 700 in 2006, but um, now it's just at 150. And the prized attraction is a, an African elephant called Ruperta, but she you're not supposed to feed an elephant pumpkins, and she's been fed nothing but pumpkins for the last several months, and recently she collapsed. She didn't die, but she did fall down because she was dehydrated because she had been fed nothing but pumpkins for such a long period of time. The Los Angeles Times did this article, and they did a good job reporting this. There's only 30 security guards in the whole zoo, okay? And a lot of times there's just several cages that hold one animal. I mean, it's just, and then some areas are off limits because the conditions are so bad. Like, and also the lakes used to be, the prominent lakes that are um, a huge attraction to the zoo, they used to be beautiful lakes, but now they're just covered in green slime. Uh, and also the parking lots are empty because there's so few security guards nowadays and the leadership's politically appointed that they're Maduro's cronies and these cronies usually don't know how to run a zoo and the few professional staffers that are still there, they don't listen to the recommendations of the professional staffers. And also the parking lots are empty because there's so few security guards that in addition to not having too many animals to look at or to see, there's a huge fear of being robbed. So many families just stay away from the zoo. Um, one guy who still frequently visits there, he uh, spoke with the LA Times in this article, and he said, in my youth, this was a thriving place and a fun place to go to, and he still goes to the zoo. But he said now it's, you know, it's not good. It's basically an abandoned zoo and so few attractions. And you can tell looking at Roberta the elephant that, LA Times had a picture of her and she looked malnourished and you could tell the bone line, um, the bone, the line of the bones from her skin that you could tell she's being underfed. Um, also they had a prominent leopard who, um, that was an attraction there, but, um, the leopard has disappeared and he's not resurfaced since, um, there are bandits are coming in, stealing the animals at times, um, They've stolen some mandarin ducks before as well. Just just a sad situation. And we should be more worked up. I firmly believe the situation with people starving than we would the animals in this situation. Some things I agree with animal rights activists on. Some things I don't. But this is a sad situation for the animals here. And I feel bad for the animals here. And I feel bad for the people that are the few visitors that the zoo has. Um, one, they don't feel safe because they, they're scared they're going to get robbed. And then two, they got to see the animals malnourished. And that is just a sad, sick situation. You know, families take their kids to the zoo and they don't want to see the few families that still do. And they don't want to see the child have a traumatizing experience at the zoo. So, anyways, hope everyone's doing well. Take care. God bless them. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.